Hi friends, it's Leslie from Avalon Acres Farm. I hope you're doing well. I'm okay. Um, today, I'm going to do Roxy's Journal of... No, I'm not. No. Today, I'm going to be doing Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And I believe this is week 20. I'll have it right in the description. Or in the title. But anyway, um, Rachel's making journals so I had this book cover that I received in a subscription box and I thought I'd use it um, it's got this lovely dedication to, on it and then Hudson's bookshop in Detroit so if this was 1956 I wonder if Hudson's bookshop is still there I'm going to take this off and use it in something. Okay. So, um, the spine is about just short of an, you know, about an inch and a quarter. And I'm not sure if that is big enough for me because if I try to go small, I always end up making these alligator journals. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to keep the spine the size it is or make a bigger one. Now, Rachel said these are just supposed to be little booklets, so, I mean, maybe I should just learn how to make a smaller one. <laughs> it's like, no, I want to put six signatures in it. Not really. Just get some of this stuff off the edge here. Oh yeah, I got this from House of Books. That was uh, that was the subscription box I was trying to remember the other night that I couldn't remember because the old brain just doesn't want to remember things anymore. Okay, I'm making a mess of this. I need to stop. All right, it's gonna be covered up anyway, so. That was useless. Okay, so inch and a quarter or bigger. Let's go bigger. I just can't help myself. keep that for something else make a bookmark out of it or something all right okay so well, why don't we go for a two inch spine yeah that sounds good to me. Okay, whoops. I've got... This was packaging that a book came in. And it's very... It's like... I don't know, it's even... It seems even stronger than, like, cereal box. So... Let's cut two inches of this.
Oh, I need to get a new mat. Let's see. This is nine inches. I mean, it's going to be covered, but I don't want it like these big lumpy bumps showing through. Okay, which side? can't always put enough pressure on the ruler because of my hand. But we got it. We got it. We got it. It's all good. Okay. So. We have. Keep like an eighth of an inch space. Yeah, let's let's uh have the person who can't cut straight to save her life try and even it out. I was thinking of trying to put it in my <sighs> That's awful. Let's see if I can I, it's too long for my guillotine, so we'll see if maybe this will work. All right, let's get it straight. There we go. Okay. That helped. Let's check this one too, just to be sure. So they're even. worked kind of sort of it did what I needed it to do all right now this is all going to be covered up so I'm not going to worry too much about it so let's get these right on there This one on the quarter inch line here. No, I think that's too much. Okay, we'll move 
it in. See, actually, I mean, I've been looking at this to judge it, but I need to look at this to judge it because that's what everything's going to be based on. So that looks perfect. Okay. Is this wide enough? No, we'll make it wide enough. I think I moved it. <laughs> no, I'm not having any difficulties. You know, I was thinking tonight I would take a break because I just finished the journal and everything. I thought, oh, I should just take take the night off and relax or whatever. But my way of relaxing is to make things. But I'm making quite the shambles out of this. It's... Okay. There, that worked. All right. I didn't want to go over too far on this one because I might, I might want to save this somehow. But there we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we got our spine created. So now I was thinking of using this fabric on my spine. I just think it looks really cool. <laughs> for lack of a better term. See, I'm wondering if I need to put another piece in here to raise that a little bit. No, maybe not. It's just thinner than the I know I keep stopping in mid-sentence. I'm sorry. How would that be if I did that? Oh, it'll be okay because this fabric is thick. So Now, do I want... I'm trying to decide whether I want to have the circles going down the spine or these. I mean, they're both very... Elegant. Um, so if this is on. But I, I kind of like the look of just having the circles coming down too, though, don't? Doesn't that look cool? 
yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm deciding now I don't think I'm gonna be able to tear this fabric so I'm not even going to attempt it let's get it nine here stuff out of the way. I think I'll use my rotary cutter. That might be easiest on my hands. Yeah, I don't know why, but my hands have been hurting really bad today. And I haven't done anything like to make them hurt. Wait a minute. Okay, if I'm doing I gotta go this way. Shoo! I'm glad I caught that. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I had it right. Oh my gosh. No, I didn't. I need to cut it this way so I can that's right okay I'm sorry guys I'm kind of, I, apparently I'm kind of out of it today <laughs> no excuse just kind of out of it today all right let's go out about an inch and a half from the circles and that way when I cut it down, I can make it even on both sides. Hmm. No, that's okay. At least I got most of it. That's a new blade, too. What the heck? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I do need a new mat. I just keep forgetting to get one. Or I'll have it in my Amazon cart or wherever I'm going to buy it. And then it's like, oh, I need to get this instead. So. Priorities. Okay. So let's see. We're having that come down the center. Actually, that's... If I come just on the side of the... Let's cut this lengthwise and see which side looks better. Okay, put a five. Okay, that did good. Okay, so now let's take that. Wait, I just noticed that my ruler wasn't even. How's that? Going vertical. Okay, that's good. No, don't move. Okay, got that done. Wow. Didn't think that would take so long. <laughs> Alright, so here's our spine. 
Excuse me. That's pretty. Okay, let's see what kind of laces and stuff we have that can go on it. I really like it. No, nah, no, I don't. I lied. So it seems like this is a semi kind of slow stitch project. It's kind of neat. I'd have to have something under it, though. Um, well, not necessarily. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, that's neat. There's not a touch of blue in that, so save that for another time. Grab my fabric bag here. This is the newest bundle I just got from Rachel this month. Ooh, that might be pretty neat. See, I toyed with the idea of possibly just covering the whole thing because of the color. I don't have a lot of magenta that would go though. I mean, I love the color magenta, but I just don't seem to Oh, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? have a lot. Of course, there could be stuff out in the Winnebago that I'm not even remembering. I have tons of fabric out there. Okay, I'm just going to pull some stuff out and we'll take a look at it. There we go. I don't, I don't like this color like that. I just, no. Sorry. Sorry if I offended anyone. I don't like rose gold either. That 
I don't like that. I don't know what it is. I just... I think it's because of the 80s. Because that color was big in the 80s. And then I just... Oh, that's nice. That has the colors in it. Okay, this will bring some blue into the action. All right, I think we got a few things here to look at. So, basically, we're making a not just a spine cover, but um, something to add to the front cover as well. Let's see. Yeah, there they are. I'm like reaching. <laughs> They're not there. Try... You know what, I can just use this. What the heck? What the heck, Leslie? Let's do... I wanted to do right past that leaf. Okay, so... That'll be... Right about there. There we go. want to incorporate the salvage in there somehow. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, we've got that. That's really pretty on there. And that's really pretty on there. The only problem is neither of them go really well with that. <laughs> now this might, even though it doesn't have any of the purple. Actually, this has beige in it. So I think we can kind of sneak a piece in. Just as long as I include a lot of the beige. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half. Assuming it's a five inch square, yes. Oh, are you kidding me? I guess that blade isn't as new as I thought it was. I mean, I've got refills on. I'm sold and I'm not sold all at the same time. Oh, we didn't look at this piece. Let's look at this piece. my snippers. There they are.
guys, I don't know. I'm like not, nothing is, nothing is jiving, I guess, is what I'm trying to think of saying. Maybe if, oh, okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Alert media. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's get past that, then we can tear it. Maybe. Oh. I like that frayed look. I do, I do. Alright, let's put this here. Mm hmm See? See where I'm going? And then we could put that there. And then have that way it keeps the blue away from here. Sword, or my sword. <laughs> oh my god. My ruler, which I, I guess it could be a sword of sorts. Um, keeps throwing itself off my table, is what I was trying to say. No, you don't need something that big. How about. Oh, what about that? Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm sold on that. And what I'll do is I'll sew these together, do some slow stitching stuff on them, and then I'll add this on top. I think we did it. Took forever, but I got a plan. Hmm. I'm still kind of wishy-washy on it, I have to be honest. Um, I don't know why. Oh, that would have been really pretty too. What about that? Hmm. even just take that all the way across maybe all right make a decision I really liked this now I'm like trying to change the tune after I said we got it we got it we got it Just put like a little piece here or here. Like that. I'm going to cut a little piece. I'm not necessarily going to use it, but we'll cut a piece. Let's try and get this. Well, it's not straight as it is, but.
No, here's these. that there just to have a little piece of it you know all right I am not going to force you to sit and watch me sew this all together so I'm gonna pause and I'm just gonna get these pieces together and um, then I'll come back before I do any like slow stitching or stuff on it so I'll be back Okay, friends, i got to be honest with you. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this for maybe a cover topper or whatever. And I'm just going to glue this on. And, um, I mean, if I still want to add stuff to it, I can... You know, if I decide I want to do the, I don't know. I'm, honestly, I'm like flabbergasted right now. And I, I don't know why. I think maybe I'm just tired or something. But it just nothing is working for me right now. The only other thing I considered was maybe piecing Maybe this is the problem. What if I... See, and, and the thing is, I usually work in earth colors. I'm not... Generally, I don't work with the pastels or... What am I... Um, bright colors. That's not to say that I don't like them. I just, I'm just drawn to earth colors. That's just my thing. So, maybe maybe we could take just a little strip of this. too even <laughs> actually I think what I would do is maybe put this on and then put this on over it here because this is thin compared to these two fabrics and uh, just be better. Yeah, I mean, if I... Okay. Let's, let's look at that. And then we could have... Maybe that coming off like that. And then we could just make that like a little or something in the center. What do you think? Better? I don't usually get stymied this long <laughs> project it's it's kind of driving me crazy but we'll get it we will get it I do kind of like the P 
piecemeal um, look of the spine here. Okay, I think, I think that's better. I feel better about that. I'm not, I don't know. I think that this dark upholstery fabric was just throwing me off for some reason. And All right, I'm going to go sew these together and I will be back. Okay, guys, I've got um, my spine tacked together. I'm going to do some slow stitching on it here and there, uh, but I think I'm going to end this video here, and because it's already at 43 minutes, and the next time I come back, I will, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm, I must be really tired, I think I'm still, ooh, like, out of it from my four day migraine and I'm obviously not moving as well as I should so <laughs> something's up but anyway um yeah I'll come back tomorrow with this and um <clears throat> and do some slow stitching and then we'll glue it on and pick out papers so then we'll be ready for Rachel on Friday for our next step. Unless the next step is picking papers. I know she picked papers. I don't know if she expected us to pick papers. or I don't know. I have to watch her video again. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hi, friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. I'm back. <laughs> My voice isn't, but I am. Okay, so I did some... Um, slow stitching i mean you can barely see it i think you can see it there i did some crosses here and then i did a little bit there and i made a sigil to put on it because this is going to be my shadow work journal or my wellness journal let's call it that but uh so, I am now ready to glue. And yes, I finally decided on... I think I'm going to leave the lace off. I kind of... I still would like it on here. Um, I wonder if I put some, like, just right across the top. Well, I can still decide that later. Let's just concentrate on one thing at a time here, huh? Oh, you know what? I should use my Fabri-Tac. Oh, I grabbed that. So, yes, it is the next day. I had to take a break from it. And, uh, just let the, whatever I felt I wanted it to be, come to me. I probably need to go out further, but. do this much for now and actually I need to get my uh oh where's my where's my silicone oh right there the fabric at the bottom is light so I better uh, kind of 
to smooth this out so it doesn't show through. Okay. So just let it go. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Um, I thought about doing making this journal as one that I could put in my Etsy shop, but then I decided, you know what? I'm kind of on a journey right now. Um, since, well, I mean, if, if you didn't know, I lost my trans daughter in March of 2017. And then, since then, I've lost my father, my aunt, who I loved like a mother. Um, we lost Scott's mom. And then, my daughter died in March of... 2021 and that sent me into a very deep deep spiral and I'm just now starting to feel like I'm coming out of it but what I want to do is concentrate on my mental health and make myself stronger because there were times when I thought what I went through was going to kill me and or I just wanted to be with Jessica and Sean again but you know I have four other kids here on earth I'm not going to abandon them. And so it's just been, it's been a journey. It's been quite a journey. But I feel like I'm on the other side of it now. So I really want to work on maybe releasing some of that, the feelings of anger and hopelessness and Cool, the arms go on each of the... Okay, cool. I just want to be well, basically, is what I'm trying to say. That That's what I'm focused on now. And I want to be well. I want to be happy. I want to appreciate the life I have and focus on what I have and not what I don't have. And just live a happy life. I don't know if that's going to work because the that's upside down. Did I do this upside? I did do this upside down. Holy cow. Okay. Well, actually my sigil is reversible. So that could work. I'm not going to fret about it. Oh, wait. No, that can't work. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, well, I guess we're going to cover this up. Darn. <laughs> I thought I had it. That's all right. Let's see what we got in here. Is this a fat eighth? Maybe it is, yeah. Do 
before I'm going to do a hidden spine. Hmm. Maybe I should. I will. Okay. So, um, I think we can do a little bit of um, collaging in here. Yeah, I don't have any fuchsia colored. I know I said magenta yesterday. Fuchsia colored um, floss. So that's kind of a bummer. I realized that I really don't have many pinks and stuff, so I need to need to stock up on some more embroidery floss. Start working up through the DMC pinks. <laughs> oh, that's a, um, an old prescription. <laughs> some flowers. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so as I was trying to say and once again lost my words, um, I decided that since I feel like I am coming out of my despair, grief, whatever you want to call it, that I want to concentrate on keeping myself healthy in mind and body. So I have quit smoking today. <laughs> And, um, like I said, I'm going to do some work on journaling my feelings and what I've been through and All of that so I can release it for good and finally anyway I mean the grief and the that's never gonna go away but I can't live in that for the rest of my life and I deserve to have some happiness. So that's that's what I want to focus on. And my garden. Now, um, those of you that know of my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery project that I'm making is uh, an embroidered picture of what I want our back garden to be and we've decided we're going to put that project off for this year and concentrate on the porch and the garden right off the porch and stuff and uh, I mean we're going to start working you know, getting the soil prepared and everything. And what I may do 
is plant a bunch of borage, borage, borage. Anyway, it's a very good um, plant cover crop to put nitrogen in your soil. Because the land that we live on, um, it's, what do you call it? Um, it's never been developed. It's raw. And, I mean, even though we're living on it, it's still very raw. I mean, we're doing things slowly, a little bit at a time, but we haven't really, we've been concentrating on housing and the buildings rather than the land so it's still pretty raw and uh, so our porch area that Scott's building since we we currently we're living in a tiny house we have an addition shell put up to build a full-size house for us, but after Scott's heart attack, um, or not heart attack, I'm sorry, uh, he had open heart surgery two weeks before Jessica died. <clears throat> and, uh, He's just not had the energy that he used to have, so it's it's slow going. But I said it's all right, you know. We're not going anywhere. We're we're here. This is our forever home, so we'll just do it as we can. And that's another. I mean, uh, the year that we lost Jessica, he also lost his partner who owned the business next door and uh, the business went to the guy's son and he ripped Scott off and didn't give him what they had made verbal agreements there was never any which yeah we know but, uh, that's neither here nor there now. So, okay, I think I've got enough to pick through here. So, that business went down and, and you know, Scott lost his income. And now, I mean, since his open heart surgery, he can't work anymore, so... Our finances have been very short. <laughs> we we just we don't have the extra money that we used to have that you know he was working and that money was going right into the house and now that he's not working anymore we don't have that extra money. Which is why I'm trying to get my YouTube channel going. The story of my life. <laughs> Anyway, so, I mean, that's just, like, the last seven years have been very difficult. So, now that I'm starting to feel better, I want to concentrate on that and get myself in a good place where I can be positive and just be... grateful and happy and which I am
grateful for what we have, what I have, what I can do, and hopefully my journal making business will get going and it will help us move along. So yeah, I'm just going to um, finish collaging this and I will get my papers together off camera and then when Rachel comes back tomorrow and does the next part, I'll have my papers ready because I think, did she say sewing in the signatures tomorrow maybe? So I'll have my signatures ready. So what I'm going to do is the area in front of our porch, it, right now it's the dog area, and um, it's a little fenced-in area, and my Winnebago, where all my craft supplies stay, is in that area. And um, I want to put like a kitchen herb garden in there and make like a like a little cottage English cottage garden or something just so we can sit on the porch and watch the birds and watch the dog frantically try to get the birds which he never does because he can't fly even though he doesn't realize that Oh, it's upside down. Okay. And, uh, just a nice place for us outside. Just a little bit more room to breathe and stretch out. And I want to do yoga out there. He's going to, um, make like a A wooden deck at the bottom of the stairs that we put up that go down into the that area and uh, I want to use that area for yoga that's another thing I want to start doing which I need to just like tomorrow start doing yoga I mean, I'm totally out of shape. I am totally potato. You can boil me, mash me, stick me in a stew for sure. That's a Hobbit or a Lord of the Rings reference. Just in case you didn't know. I think most people know, but. Lord of the Rings fanatic, so. I, I was a member of the fan club, and As a member of a fan, the fan club, a charter member, and that's the Lord of the Rings fan club based on the movies, um, my name is in the end credits with all the other fan, fan club members after all th three Lord of the Rings movies, the extended versions. All the um, fan club members are mentioned in there. So my name is in those credits.
Leslie Lansdowne, my former married name. Okay, I like that. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this here for tonight. We got our cover ready, and it's nicely collaged inside. Oh, I like that. And yeah, I mean, if I want to, I could still, I could add some trim there. I could put trim here. I could put trim here. You know, whatever I feel like. Because it's my book. Thanks so much for watching, friends. And... Um, I hope you have a great whatever time of the day it is for you, rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!